keybinds in Escape from Tarkov. <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot of choice. There's a lot of freedom. Let's go into some of the ones that I've used or I currently use. And hopefully this video helps you out. Now, by the time this video goes live on YouTube, I will probably be live on Twitch as well. So if you want to come hang out, ask some questions or, you know, learn a thing or two, come check us out on Twitch. Now, don't get me wrong. Keybinds are completely personal preference. But I just feel like the out-of-box uh, settings for Escape from Tarkov make me feel like I'm playing Twister on the keyboard. The game's already hard enough. Let's try and make the key bindings a lot more accessible for myself. Hopefully, that will allow me to play better. So we find ourselves in the menu. You can click the settings at the bottom right of the screen, and it will take you to your setting screen. Go to controls, and this is the keybind screen. Everything you can see here, you can change and personally customize to better suit yourself or your playstyle. Now, I'm not going to go in for everything, uh, but there's definitely a few things that I want to touch on and kind of find out what you run and if this is something that you would run as well. All right, just on an off note, one of the ones I've changed because I absolutely hate checking my mag and I can't even remember the original uh, keybind. I think it might be uh, shift, control, X, escape, enter on the numpad and then enter your pin code, I think, uh, just to check your magazine just to check your magazine uh whereas i've changed it to x i don't lie down using x i use lie down on control or prone on control uh obviously this is all personal preference i, I just don't like the keybind not being easily accessible the main subject in this video is probably going to be the leans so lean left and lean right lean left you typically be in q lean right being e now i know a lot of people in my community play standard i know quite a few in my community also swap these so to lean right, you hold Q. To lean left, you hold E. Uh, this will allow you to move whilst you're leaning. Now, a lot of people in my community have lean right as Q. So they can move. And it frees up the A and D. And then lean left on their E. Which also allows the movement. However, if we set up our leans to our mouse, so mouse 3 and 4, this gives us the freedom to be able to lean whilst we move. I don't have to use any of my fingers on my left hand, on my keyboard, uh, to be able to, to lean. So I can do everything on the mouse. I can, sorry, I can lean on the mouse, which will give me the freedom to be able to move how I want whilst leaning. If you did want to go down the route with your leans on the mouse, then that would free up Q and E to be able to change things. So you could use your switch sights. So for an example, if you're using a Valde with a canted sight, uh, on an M4, you could use your Q as changing from the Valde to the Canted. And then you could use your E as changing your Valde's magnification or your, your scope zoom. You can obviously change those however you want. Another keybind that I want to talk about is one that has been in the game since I started playing, which was early 2020, I believe. And that is the set fire mode to full auto being double click B. That is a standard setting that has not been changed, but a lot of my chat did not know about this. So I'm going to spread the awareness. If you're like me and you change your gunfire all the time, this could save you several times. Now I'm going to use the AK-12 for this exact reason because it has three fire modes. It has burst fire, single fire, and full auto. So for an example, if you're in burst fire and you want to go to full auto, you press B, you press B again, and you're now in full auto. However, if you're in burst fire and you need to get to full auto quickly, double tap B, it goes straight to full auto. It's as simple as that. Nice and easy, but not a lot of people know about it. The last one we'll look at as well, uh, personal preference for me. I know a lot of people have changed this, but this is when you get a weapon malfunction. I apologize. I can't remember the original keybinds because I changed these so long ago. Uh, but if you get a weapon malfunction, easiest thing you have to do is you need to check the gun. Just like so. And then usually, if it's a gem, you have to then clear the chamber using another keybind. However, what I do is I use the console key, so the key between the tab and the one right in the corner of your keyboard. Uh, what I have it set is to press for inspect weapon. And as I'm holding the button, once the animation finishes, I can then let go of that button and it does the check chamber. That will clear the gun malfunction. To finish up, what are your keybinds? What have you changed that you know no one else runs? What's something different? I'm curious to learn and I'm keen to find out. Hopefully this video has taught you something you didn't know. Hopefully you've got something from this video. If there's something you want me to try and learn or try and cover from Escape from Tarkov, let me know down in the comments. And as always, 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.